here because you see the traps mm -hmm. on the steps. You can just position it here on the high ground if needed. You're going to break that smoke, have the vision. You've got it inside Roshan. And on, like, it's so hard for Spirit to cleanly make Look this, at this play. Okay, so they should have noticed that they dropped the ward over there. Mira, though, jumping forward immediately, skewing back. They want to get rid of Okay, because he's stuck just over here on the cliffside. Zephyr following up though with the rolling thunder, the boat coming through. EKB protecting kick as well. Now, as Zephyr's just rolling on through and just trying to keep them alive here coming out from a potion. We did have the buyback coming out from Mira. Over on the side, though, White Money's trying everything he can, but he can't survive, unfortunately. 23 Savage waiting casually. They get the RP off, collapse. Just trying to dish out the damage, plus the egg. Are they going to be top. able to take down 23 Savage? Just looking pretty darn good. The egg pops, collapse goes down. Kiku also to full here as Mira just pokes away at the rest of T1. Carl thinking he wants to go back in. A little bit off the mark, though, with the swashbuckle. Now they have to be careful. The Avalanche connecting over onto Kiku. Goes right over to the tower. Mapochka's got that Sunray trying to keep tabs on him. And it looks like they're going to go for a bit of a dive here. Sunstrike comes through. Doesn't quite connect. As Spirit is diving this tower, they want this Ember Spirit, but he is just so slippery. They can't get their hands on him. What a beautiful fight from Spirit. And it's the whole idea of, like, when you enter a fight, you need to commit. It does have five Sentry, two wards. Most likely just plonk it on the high ground here and... Uh, Look at the positioning, though, coming out from White Mon here. Really in case there's there. any sort of smoke, Arrow gets tossed out. Gonna break, collapse, hunting here. It's gonna get stunned by 23 Savage. A couple of these impetus coming up, but again, the BKB coming in handy here. Silence comes out as well. So they're looking for the opening. They get the Dream Coil off on several. But they just don't want a hard committed field, although they'll go back onto the back line. Zephyr sitting very, very low. They have to be careful. The break being applied, but they'll follow up there with the curse. And they'll be able to take down Zephyr. He's been sitting too low for too long. But Poshka now in trouble because they've got all the damage. The burst is real. And there, RP. there's the RP coming out from Yatro. They'll follow up with an arrow. Do they have the damage? He's just chunking away over at them. And they'll be able to go and take down Ku. Can they get any more, though? They find a triple kill now for Collapse. They just slaughter 23 Savage. And just like to find the ward that he put down, but. They don't know it's on that little cliff. Yes. Ooh, Winter's Curse. Well oh, placed hammer. on a three. They're going to have the TP Meteor Hammer and the Earth Spike. Ooh, ooh, IG. What a combo. Just as good as Milk and Cookies. IG look crisp right there. But if he gets RP now, I can just get Static on. Yeah, true. So I, I don't know. Ooh. I don't think this is the best choice. Yeah, okay, Axe is gonna jump in. All the pressure is gonna be applied to him. A big RP onto three, oh, no. into the Blade Fury, into the Static Storm Kinetic Field combination. Axe and Tiny buyback into the game. Puck will not have that luxury though. Wraith King, that's the first life. I mean, IG is still pretty healthy. Omni Slash hasn't even been used yet, but that's gonna be used on a lot of the skeletons here. As Pierre in the background trying to keep IG at bay. I believe that is the... Oh, finally the Omni Slash comes out, and Nico's going to take the brunt of the damage, so the Wraith King finally dies, and it costs IG nothing. Only cooldown. Bounty Hunter is there as well. Bounty does have a gem, even though Bounty drops the sentry, and there's the smoke being popped. Quite surprised that they did not actually use up the dust of the appearance, and let's see. There's a Queen of Pain. Saw so a Sonic Wave coming through. Did a little bit of damage, but there is the Global Silence right now. Are they going to be able to get anything from this? There's the duel. The duel is straight in onto the Mirana, and there is the Sleeps coming through. It's just changing it up the whole time. Unfortunately, Mirana does drop as well as the Legion Commander. Will they be able to get more of the Bloodseeker still alive? Bloodseeker is just going crazy. A double kill up for the Sand King due to his epicenter. But Bloodseeker does, does see everyone. He sees all. Oh, he wants to go in for a kill here onto the Weaver. Weaver does not have his time left. And SG just bringing this up. Damage, so. That Crystalis. Oh, here's the Marth hold on to two. No BKB for Mr. Matu. The Ice Blast will finish him off. Yapsor next on the list. And this is a huge stop in Execration's favor. It's going to be a 1 0 start for them. Again, both teams have split every single series they've played so far. And they both desperately need a 2 0 at some point. It's Nisha. They have the vision and they have the kill. If Secret don't clean this up for the next game, this is going to be a 2 0 They fight with potentially Roshan ever looming on the uh, the forefront here. It's, uh, it is going to be another minute, but the smoke up from SG 
If they still find the right kind of initiation here, they're going to go for Mickey. Trying to burst him out. The shackle doesn't land, and Mickey is now able to get off the enrage. There's still the old center, though. Boxy, right in the middle of everybody, is going for King Jungles. King Jungles barely getting off the ultimate, and that is enough for Costa Bile to keep on trucking and kills the Ursa. But now with a buyback, they're in a nasty position. Costa Bile at half health needs to be able to find a way out of here. Drops a sentry. They're going to be able to spot him. Costa Bile turns and fights, knowing he's going to die soon. Does what damage he can. Tavo follows that up, but realize, oh, turn around. This time the shackle does land. Tavo, a little bit of room here. If they can get a dieback here on to Mickey, it would be massive. Theo Lacour is going to try for it. 40R finishes him off with a shield crash. Nicely done. Tavo stays alive, and Theo Lacour now he is on fire. Several shackle shots landing in recently, but LGD underneath their own shrine. Not where VG Gaming want to fight, but they have the Observer Ward. Now, okay, no, they don't. X Nova sees it. He'll get rid of it, but then he's inside. Can he have Chain Frost? No, he doesn't. The Frost Shield tries just to negate some of this damage, pulling the OD in. The Stomp is good. Stop Puck from getting the Instant Silence as well as Dream Coil off, and they're all back inside the Storm. Oh, and shit. the AT Splitter! There you go, VG! LGD lose all five heroes. They were totally silent on the high ground, and they're gonna run into the IG oh, heroes, but oh. IG is also routing them at the same time. Spectral ultimate, and the stop goes oh. in, the golem, and then just Nygma is wiped the floor with, and Kuro is gonna be chased down on top of the death already from ILTW, and Mir I mean, that was just, oh. it was over in an instant. Uh, carries will go both BKB and Manta against Treant because they need to be able to pre-pop one to go into the fight safely and then they need to have the ability to break the... Okay, that's a nice follow-up with that Shackle plus the Ravage. It doesn't matter, 23 Savage. He's dead. He can't even hit that BKB as he'll turn back around, get the kill on Kuku. And uh, Faz is just run, rolling on into the base, waving hello as they start bringing down the door. White Mon trying to go and just remove that sentry. Does do a nice little sidestep here. 33 following up. Throw out the oh, hit my. and the Dagon damage. Oh my word. Plus the Illuminate. On top of the cliff, but... Oh, they're coming in from the yeah, backside. This is such a good position. Earthshaker's moving in as well. Echo Slam connects on to two. Macro Pyre down as well. They're all gone immediately. Can they find any more though? Monkey King over here to the west side of the fight. They've got the lift up with the Yule Scepter. The Supernova is gone. Ultra kill for that Arc Warden. And one last to fall. SG dominant. That was so freaking smart, Lyrical. You know, it's such a... We've seen so many teams get better at securing Roche against Smokes because I think this can attack to the smoke because they, they saw, you know, they're near the lane, nothing's happening there, probably someone there, or they assumed. Um, very good, very good scan by Empire, and at least gives him some time to push bottom tower, which is not bad. Okay, he's got vision. He, know, he knows where Sacho is. There oh, he goes. No. Sacho's probably gonna die here. They need a bit more damage though for this. The body blocks, the sand king, the creeper fly. Oh, oh, That's good. gonna be enough to finish up Sacho. The press gets coming in though. X marks the spot. He goes for FNG. Not an overgrowth, and in fact, the wow. press gets bursted. Limp, Limp has an arcane. They, 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 they have to focus him. They have to get rid of this guy. That's just a ridiculous amount of damage. Not to mention, of course, max chakra magic. Cooldowns are merely a suggestion right now to Limp. That's true, actually. Uh, they have life range still to kill on Sayu. We do let the Nether Ward here. And Chandra's trying really hard to use mana. Oh no, <laughs> this Nether Ward's unkillable now. This thing's very nice as well. The Opto walk around, they might run to Leon pop his smoke. Where he is though? They have the smoke ravage. Yeah, they got him. So blink right onto the PL, setting up with those three points in that magic missile, just an immense amount of damage coming in from Stinger. And now Whisper comes in, says, uh, don't mind if I do. Gets that double kill on the Tidehunter, still top net worth. And he's two fights a bit different, right? Yeah, that's a good point. And that, that is a really good point, because Liquid, you don't want long fights. You've got a shape shift, and that's your timing to win. You've got to get a kill onto the Omni, because the later the fight goes, the more difficult it's going to be. These quick spells, the stunlocks. Oh, man, no just sentries. charging forward. Mickey is going to get the initiation onto King Jungles, but he had an E on disc. So he's going to survive a little bit longer, but not much longer. No Guardian Angel in this team fight. Still on cooldown. Close to Belay needed that one drastically. His box, he's just running them over with all this magic damage. And 4DR, he's going to try and disengage uh, with that. Okay, they do have the sentry down, so he's got to be careful here. He's looking to be able to dodge the sun shield crash away. Tavo's going to be left behind, that's for certain. The Lacora throws out one last shackle shot to prove, yeah, guys, I can hit these, I promise. But the fight is already lost, and Liquid, very likely the recipients of the second Roshan and Aegis and Shard for them. No more cheese, which I'm a big fan of. Felt like that second Roshan. Oh, 4DR gets a little bit too close to the Roshan pit, is likely going to pay the price for.
everyone is so strong for Aster. So they're catching a Phoenix. That's what I'm talking about. Phoenix and just in time. Wow, dropping a Mystic Flare point on your foes. Land M down. But it seems like Richie Gaming spent a lot of resource on that Land M. So now they're stuck in a Dream Coil on three. They're gonna die one by one. Jumping in. SSS with a drop bow kill, with a quick bow kill. Seeking for quad drop bow kill. PYW. Oh my goodness. Borax ended. Look at that. Got life for SSS.